Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a walk through the garbage can. It is my winter empties part two. Now part one was all skincare for the face, neck and chest. And if you have an interest in seeing that video, I will put a card for it here as well as down below. This is sort of everything else. We've got a bit of body and hair and makeup and supplements and a few other bits. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the body because the shower is sort of where things tend to kick off for me in the mornings. And I'm gonna start off with the body wash. This one is by Aveeno. It is the moisturizing body wash. And you know, this is sort of one of those emergency purchases when I realize I'm running out and I don't think I'm gonna be able to get out and get something or if I don't have anything in standby, this is what I buy at the grocery store. I think it's fine. I don't love it. When it comes to body wash, we know I love my Naturium Glow Getter, but it's not as easy for me to get my hands on because I actually have to go into town and buy it from Space NK. And I actually wasn't able to get in over Christmas and I'm getting a little low, but this is an emergency situation. And if I buy from the grocery store, that's what I get. So have I repurchased it? No. Will I repurchase it? Undoubtedly, because at some stage I will not have my act together and I will not be able to get into my shower the products that I want. But I think it's perfectly great. It's perfectly suitable. It's easy to get your hands on and it doesn't dry out my skin. That is the biggie. So I think Aveeno is great. Next up is also by Aveeno. This is called the Skin Relief Body Oil Spray. Now I really like this product and this is something you would put on after the shower in order to hydrate the skin. Now I quite like oils by nature. Not everybody does. And if you don't like oils, you're not going to dig this much. Now I really, really like it. I've used it up. I've actually gone through quite a few of these, but the only reason I haven't repurchased is that I have discovered the other product by Kopari, which is their SPF. 50 spray oil. Is that what it's called? I think that's what it's called. I've done a whole video on it, which I'll put a link to here for you. I absolutely love it. So it's the idea of a body oil with a built-in sunscreen. So that's the one at the moment that I'm using in place of this. It is gorgeous. It smells amazing. It's giving me sun coverage and it is just chef's kiss. I adore it. So will I purchase this in the future? I'm sure I will <laughs> for the same reason I will probably purchase the body wash because I just don't have my act together, um, but I haven't repurchased it yet. But will I? Of course I will. Next up is a body lotion. This one is by, I don't really know how to pronounce this, Ameli, Ameliorate, Ameliorate? I'm sure there's a more elegant way to say that. This is called the Transforming Body Lotion. I had never heard of this in the US. I'm not sure if it's available there. And by the way, I will have details of where to purchase all of these things down below. So if you can get in America, it will be there. But this is very popular over here on this side of the pond and I've heard incredible things about it. I thought it was highly effective. I thought it was great on my skin. It's supposed to be really good if you have scaly, irritated skin. What I didn't like was the scent. Now I thought I had purchased the unscented and that is not this. Like actively didn't like it. And I like scent, I don't have a problem with scent. I just, I really didn't like that. Gary, do you wanna have a smell of that? <laughs> He's no. like, no, if you don't like it, I don't want to smell it. Um, it was just too perfumey or something in there that I didn't like. I thought that the formulation was effective on my skin. I probably will end up repurchasing this in an unscented version because I do think it did lovely things for my skin. And I don't think it's super expensive, but I did have to import from the UK, which isn't my favorite thing to do, but I was dying to get my hands on it. So a great formulation, unscented for sure. And last up in the body lotions is this one by Eucerin. This is called the Urea Repair. It includes 10% urea. I have gone through so many bottles of this. It is ridiculous. Now, by the way, this is a really big honking one you can't get in Ireland. I tend to get this in the UK or in Spain when I'm traveling. What I love about this is it's somehow lightweight, but super, super hydrating at the same time. Now I have some products that you put it on and they're so heavy, which I love. It takes a long time to rub them in, and but you get that hydration. Um, this is the complete opposite of that, but it gives you the same result. Um, it's a little bit watery in texture, but I love it and I will continue to repurchase. Now, I did not rebuy as of right this minute because I have a little bit of a backlog of body lotions that I need to get through, but I undoubtedly will be repurchasing this at some time in the future. Plus you can get it at the drugstore and that's a big bonus for me when I don't have my act together. Okay, so now we're moving on to hair. So as y'all know, I'm on a bit of a hair journey. I'm spending a lot of time, money and energy on things to make my hair better. This was an interesting discovery for me this year. 
I guess last year because it's January. Um, this is the OGX Damage Remedy Coconut Miracle Oil. Um, and I've talked about it quite a few times. It's definitely not my first empty. This is a pre-shampoo treatment that I'm using before I get in the shower. I can either leave it on overnight, although I find it's more effective if I just give, do it a half an hour before I get in the shower in the mornings. And it just helps to coat the hair. It helps to protect the hair. It does wash out, so you don't have to worry about greasy hair. But I think this has been a bit of a game changer. I mean, I know it's been a bit of a game changer. In fact, it was on, I think, my top three hair products. This was in there. Yes, I bought a new one, and I'm probably halfway through if not three quarters of the way through that one, and I will be purchasing a new one again. Um, I think it's great. My hair is just doing so much better these days, and I think that's one of the reasons why. And another reason why is item number two here, and this one is by Hiel. Now, I've spoken about this brand so many times here. I love them. Um, these are specifically designed for people that have hair issues. It can be hair thinning. It can be hair loss. It can be anything that's a bit on the problematic side. So this is called the Volume Shampoo and I cannot tell you how good their products smell. They are absolutely divine. Now there are two different um, shampoos. This is the volume and there's also the hydrating and the hydrating is the one that I have in my shower now. Um, and I think I prefer the volume. I'm not really sure. They're both excellent. They aren't super, super high foam, um, but I feel that they actually get my hair clean, but they do not strip anything. And I think that since I've started using this whole range that my hair has improved. So there are a number of products. I think there's another one here to share with you that I just keep repurchasing. So um, I do have another one in the shower now, and I've just placed an order that has both of the shampoos and a number of other things coming. Okay, so next up in hair is this one by L'Oreal. It is called the LV 8 Second Wonder Water. And y'all keep seeing these here. I keep buying them. I think that they're strangely highly effective. At the end of the shower, before I get out, if I haven't masked, if I've just done my standard sort of shampoo and conditioner, I put this on and I leave it on, I don't know, for eight to 10 seconds and you rinse it out. And it is designed to find the damaged parts of your hair and to seal it in. And my hair is just so much softer when I use this. Now I've gone through buckets of these. This is an orange one. I don't know why it's orange. Long damaged does that say long? I don't know what it says. Yeah, it says long damaged hair. Oh, I guess I do have long hair now. <laughs> In my brain, my hair isn't actually long anymore. So for long damaged hair, hi, that's me. This is the one. Now I've used the red one and I think there's a green one and half the time it's just whatever's sitting on the shelf. These are cheap as chips. They're about 14 bucks, buy it at the grocery store. Um, and yes, there's another one in the shower and I think there may be even another one standing by. So for me, that's just an automatic repurchase. Next up in the hair category is another one by Hiel. This is called the Hydrate Leave-In Conditioner. That was something I learned about last year that I did not realize is that we should actually be putting a leave-in conditioner in our hair every time we shampoo. I didn't know that. So I was doing a shampoo and a condition and I thought that was enough and apparently it's not. So I always use a leave-in conditioner before I do any heat protection and styling. Although I do believe this has a heat protection in it as well. I actually don't know if that's true, if it has a heat protection in it or not, but I use a separate one anyway, just because I obviously don't want to damage the hair. But this is, again, the sweetest smelling product in your hair, and it just gives it more protection, it just gives it more hydration, and it kind of locks everything in. So this is in the order that I've just placed, and hopefully it will be arriving soon. Next up in hair is by Orbe. This is called the Dry Texturing Spray. Now this is only a little one, um, which I love because it's perfect for travel if you so need to travel with it. Um, the big one is really honking, so I prefer these. And in fact, I got one of these for Christmas, so yay. Thanks, Connor. The only time I really use this is after I have curled my hair. So maybe once a week or once every two weeks, I get the old curling iron out and I like to do the nice curls. I find that this sort of acts like it's sort of part hairspray and just a part texture. So it just gives it a little bit of oomph. So I love this stuff. So I do have another one here and I will continue to repurchase. Okay, last up in the hair category is this little guy. This is a serum pod that comes from this guy. This is the Ladora Duo. And what this is, is a hair stimulating device that's designed to help regrow hair. Now, it contains a couple of different technologies. It has LED light therapy, it has heat, I think it has sonic vibration, and I love this little guy. And in the middle are these little pods that pop out. Oh, I'm almost done with this one. You can see here, it's got a little bit of that 
juice inside and it has a couple of different serums you can choose from based on what your needs are with your hair. This particular one I'm using at the moment in here is very oily which means I can only use it on the nights before I do a shampoo. But I have gone, which I now think through 10 or 11 of these pods and I keep experimenting with the different formulations and I love them. The hair regrowth has been a real area of focus for me and I've absolutely loved this product. Um, the only downside is that I have to ship them in from the US. Not my favorite thing, but I've continued to do it. So I have a stash of new pods over there. I think I bought some the last time I was home. So it's a really interesting way to help stimulate the hair. You can deliver very specific ingredients to help with whatever your issues are. So yes, I have a number of them sitting over there, ready to go. Makeup category. This is not a category that I empty often at all, right? Because I experiment a lot. I have a lot of foundation sitting over here. So to finish up a foundation is sort of a big deal. Um, this one was one of my favorites from last year. I mean, it's just such an incredibly good product. It is a drugstore product, which means it's affordable. This one is by L'Oreal. This is called the True Match Nude Hyaluronic Serum. I loved this foundation. I did not love the format. It came in a little dropper. So I went off to Amazon and bought one of these little guys and stuck it on there and it's empty and I went to use it the other day and it squirt squirt and it was empty and it doesn't feel empty because it's glass which is actually kind of one of the things I don't like about it because it's really heavy to travel with but this was just one of my favorites it just makes me look better you're not wearing a lot of makeup it just smooths everything out a little bit it's very hydrating on the skin this was a favorite now I haven't repurchased it yet which is kind of surprising because I bought this in the U.S. and I know what shade it is and everything there but we have a different we call it something different. The shades are something different here. So I just haven't gone in and repurchased it. I undoubtedly will. This was one of my favorites from last year. No doubt about it. It's so good, so good, so good. I mean, if I finished it, that's an indication because that just doesn't happen very often. The only other product in makeup that I do tend to finish is my mascara. It is by Lancome. It is called Lashy Doll. And it's, I, I can't even say how many of these I've gone through because I go through so many of them. So this is an empty. It's always strange when you empty these guys, um, but it's gone. And do I have another? Well, yes, I do. In fact, Claire got me one for Christmas. Thank you, Claire. Um, so I'm back in business and ready to go. Now we are moving on to supplements. I do have a couple of here. I take a lot of supplements, these guys. I'm 52. <laughs> I'm finding I need a lot of help. So I have three here at the moment. The first one is my collagen peptides. This is by Do Not Age. It's called the Hydrolyzed Collagen Peptides. I've been taking collagen peptides orally for years and it's really nice to see there's research coming out now to actually support for years they didn't quite know whether there was a positive impact or not the research is coming through to say there is and I love this stuff and I tend to get these in three packs like you know, one of these will last me a month I do have my last month sitting downstairs in the kitchen it is the very first thing I do in the morning when I go downstairs I put this in. that's not true I have a big fat glass of water first and I take other supplements and then I put this into a mug of black coffee. You can't taste it. It completely disappears. I absolutely love it. I will never not have it. So I better place an order to sweet because I'm now officially on the last one and that makes me a little nervous. I need to restock. So next up is also by Do Not Age. This is my omega-3s. I'm starting to learn how important the omegas are as we age. So I have picked this one up from Do Not Age. I'll pretty much get any supplements I can from these guys because I trust them and they are all about longevity and they perform a lot of longevity research. And hey, I'm here for longevity, guys, 52. Let's be healthy as we age. So um, this one is empty. I have not placed a new order. And again, so that I'm actually completely out of. So I need to be doing that tonight. Um, definitely need more of those. Okay, the last one in supplements. This is my prescription. This is my prescription calcium and D3. It's called the Calcitu. And essentially, my doctor tells me I have to take it. I went and got one of the DAC scans and it turns out that I'm like a smidge away from osteoporosis. So this has calcium, but it also has the D3 that I need. So it's pretty much always going to be in my empties and I do have two more downstairs. So I just take those daily. I do take quite a few supplements every day. So if you have any interest in hearing more about what I'm taking, because that does seem to expand, <laughs> I swear. I look like an 80 year old because I take so many supplements in the morning, but look, I'm doing what I can. I'm exercising. I'm eating well. I'm trying to do as much holistic stuff as I possibly can. Okay, and there's one last little thing on my empties for winter, and that is this guy. This is my compostable deodorant by Fussy. 
and I had gone through, the company originally had sent this to me ages ago, and I have to say I really like it. And I love the fact that there's no waste. This can go straight into the compost. So I did reorder. I have three more standing by. I find it very effective, and I like the little container that it comes in. It's easy to travel with. It's easy to use, and yeah, I like it. So yes, I'm continuing to use it. So I have three more here, and that is that. So guys, that is it for today's video. Another empties, another ton of products I've managed to get through for the last three months. And uh, I don't know, any favorites here? Any questions? I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you like the look of it, I hope you'll subscribe to my channel and also give this video a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you at the next one. Bye. We only have a few, babe, we're nearly there. How much right. do you love me right now? <laughs> <laughs> Coffee break. Ooh, my coffee knocked over. <laughs>